everyone, welcome back and welcome to my new subscribers as well. Um, I'm not feeling my best today, so you're going to have to bear with me with this one. Um, so we're going to do an energy update, find out what's going on between you and them. So this is deck number one and this is deck number two, pick a deck. Um, yeah, I'm just feeling a bit groggy, you know, when you're like, ooh, you think you might be coming down with something, number one, number two, pick a deck. Just like that, oh, like, ooh, and I'm dead pale as well. Okay, can you get me into my collector's energy at deck number one? So as always, this is going to work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later day. Can you get me into my, de my delective, my collective's deck number one, please? And think about your person. Can I get into the mutual energy of their person? Okay, two more. And we're going to pull out the strongest mutual energy. Um, so as always, this is like a request that's on Instagram. If you haven't found me on Instagram, come find me. It's just Mystic Love Tarot. There's a collective reading post on there, so you can all go and have your say on it. Can you tell me please, what is the energy update for those that picked at number one with them and their person? What's the mutual energy between the two of them? One, two, one, two, three. What's the mutual energy between them and their person? Four, these good cards. Five, good cards. Six. Seven, really good cards actually. And um, can I have three for the top? What's the energy update with them and their person? One, two, three. Okay, so what's happening at this point in time is your person is working out um, what it is that they actually want in the life, where they're actually going with it, and they are stuck between a rock and a hard place, trying to make their choices and their decisions. Now, once they've worked this out, which is where they currently are, they're in this processing mode at the moment, once they've worked this out, this is when they're going to be making movement back towards you with the three of wands, or making movement towards you, getting ready to start again, getting ready to start a future, and um, they're getting ready to start sailing ship on their emotions the pull towards you has got really really strong between the two of you and they're standing there taking a look at the time thinking right it's about time that I start getting my ass in gear started to make moves back towards you or whatever equivalent your individual situations are um, and so they're on the way back or they're on the way to the next chapter with you with the three of swords um, sorry, three of wands. You've got the knight of swords, the four of pentacles, so they're clinging on to the situation. Again, getting ready to make actions towards you. Uh, the knight of swords is calling in for quite a quick, strong action, so it's going to feel like nothing is actually happening for the time being. Um, but once they start move, once they have this realisation, which is what's happening at this point in time, then the movement is going to be really, really quick for them to find their way back to you. You've got justice and judgment, which is the decision and choice. So basically, at the moment you're in the two of swords, then you've got justice and judgment for them making that choice. Three, um, and the four of pentacles holding on to you. Three of wands is the movement back towards you with the knight of swords. Quick movement in there. And after that, your cards are really, really positive. You've got six of cups indicating that you and your person have got a reconciliation coming towards you. You've got the two of cups for them realising that they are in love with you. Six of pentacles weighing it all up. Again, the justice scales are on the six of pentacles. They're working it all through in their head. Um, and the head and the heart is pulling towards you now and um, before they were battling their head and the head was going oh I'm not sure I'm not sure but now the head is kind of moving back towards you so the energy is shifting the energy is shifting towards you so these are really really good cards and um, two of cups again for true love and reconciliation so it's really really good and um, you've then got the ace of cups ace of pentacles and the sun so new beginnings based on love new beginnings based on stability and happy outcomes 
So your cards are fab, basically. I've just done that in four minutes. So what's happening, again, let me just repeat this to you. So at the moment they are working it out, working out what they want. Then uh, they're still clinging on to the situation. They're hopeful that things are gonna move forward with you. They will then make their actions towards you once they've had this kind of waking up and smelling the coffee. They're still in love with you. Um, there is reconciliation. They're just in the process of giving and taking, working it all through. And once they've worked that through, once they've made those choices on justice and judgment, they will make that shift back towards you with the Knight of Swords immediate movement. So it's it's going to be fast. It is going to be fast. The majority of you, this is really, really fast. Uh, Spirit are saying roughly your timing. Um, I'm hearing a couple of weeks uh, for the majority of you in this deck. Obviously, don't hold on to timings. You know what I say about them. Uh, you need to give them leeway because if you don't give them leeway, you're pressing pause on it. Um, but the energy update is that they're making moves back towards you or making moves to the next chapter with you. Um, if you are third party as well, that's kind of irrelevant to the situation because they will still be making these jumps, hop, skips and jumps I've just heard back towards you. So justice and judgment, justice can sometimes be divorce as well if they're already in a relationship with someone else. So your cards are really, really, really positive. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Let me just get you three clarifying cards from this deck. That was a, a quick, speedy energy update. Can I have three cards for those that picked at number one? What's the energy update between them and their person? Hop, skip and a jump, I keep hearing it. They're realising as well that they took their time in trying to get back towards you. If you have broken up or the equivalent, um, they've realised that they have been hanging around quite, they've left you hanging around quite some time and they're scared now that they might, um, you might walk away from them. So that's going to put them into this Im immediate action again with the Knight of Swords. One, two, yeah. So you've got Endurance, Romance and Grieve. So where they are at the moment is, well, what you've both been going through. You've got Grieve and Endurance. So it's been a really difficult time for you. It's been really, really complicated. Um, you've been feeling like you haven't you're sitting there crying away and nothing's really been moving forward and um, you've been trying to hold on to the situation also trying to release it and you haven't known which direction to take um, but because you've kind of left it to the universe and a lot of you have manifested it let it let the universe do its job the situation has naturally took flight and so once you release the situation that's when they can bring it back to you so romance your energies are entwining um, some of them do struggle with how they communicate with you. So if they don't suddenly come back in and tell you, I love you, I miss you, I want to be with you, and they just start coming in on like a friendship line, please go at their speed, go at their pace. Don't push them into something um, that they're not quite ready to enter. They're going to, if you go at their speed, the outcome is going to be more positive for you in the long term, um, rather than trying to push them in a certain direction. Let them make the moves. Um, obviously, again, that's your collective energy. Your individual circumstances will all be different. So if you need to book a private reading, just email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. But it's basically spirit saying that all your hard work is going to be rewarded and that it's on, the, on its way back to you quicker than it went away. So it's really good cards. That was a really, really fast reading. But when it's that positive, there's not much else I can, uh, I can give you other than what spirit is saying. Right, let's do deck two, eight, ten. God, that was fast. Can I get into the collective energy of deck number two, please? So deck number two, like deck number one, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, as always. So I'll dip into all your energies, I'll dip into your people's energies, and I pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Okay. And... Think about your person, can I get into the collective people's energy, please? I was just saying I'm not that I'm not feeling very well after. I'm feeling a bit fuzzy added and a bit groggy. So it's uh, yeah. Set number one was really good. Right. Can you tell me please what is the current energy update with those people and debt number two? My collective's energy that I've picked debt number two. One. Two, Knight of Pentacles, three, oh, that's the collective energy, one, two, 
There's a lot of people um, having an influence in deck number two, two's energy. Three. A lot of people. Oh, we've got the flying everywhere. They are all court cards. The majority of these are all court cards. Be my face, man. And you hope that's when you hope it's not a Christmas present. So what's happening happening with deck number two is there are a lot of people that are having an influence on this deck. So depending on your individual circumstances, um, there are children involved, there are family involved, there are friends involved that are putting opinions on your person and on you. And there's a lot of influence of other people involved within this deck. Please make sure that you are not taking other people's judgments and energy into your energy because if you're doing that, um, what you're doing is you're creating this negativity that's kind of dwelling in your energy points um, so your person is in this Knight of Pentacles energy the slow steady movement towards you um, but I'll show you all these court cards so you've got page of cups page of Pentacles king of Pentacles uh, Queen of Swords, you've got the Empress and you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So all of these people are having an influence within your energy, minus the Empress because that will be your energy. So your person is being quite easily influenced by others at the moment. Um, and that could be what is pressing pause on you and them moving forward. It's also possible that some of you are in this third party situations within this deck. If you don't know about a third party, that's probably because you are not involved in this part of this deck so don't panic and get your knickers in a twist um, but there is third parties involved within the situation now sometimes that can be alcohol and drugs it doesn't necessarily have to be another person it can be anything where the energy is easily um, corrupted and moved into a different situation so just bear that in mind there's a lot of kind of escapism behavior happening here um, and running away from the situation however they're weighing up their choices they're weighing up the decisions their heart and their head they're weighing up their emotions and the logic and at the moment the logical side is winning but the heart centered emotions are going to be pulling towards you it feels that like there's a massive soul pull with a lot of your people in this deck and the soul pull is always hard to kind of um step away from you can't really step away from a soul pull and you'll all know that anyway you know when you do your energy clearings and things like that when the pull is really really strong between the two of you you can't just suddenly cut it off or make like pretend it's not there you can't do it it's impossible um so they are they are working out their head and their heart you're working out whether you should move on or whether you should stay put um remember that you can always change your mind at a later date you don't have to make a choice and stick to that for the rest of your life you are in charge of your own life you can make your own choices your own decisions your choices chances and changes you're on the right path with it all with the star card things are moving forward even if you're not seeing it spirit are saying that things are happening behind the scenes watch out for 444s they're popping up um, in a lot of your energies they're popping up around you um, and once this kind of once they've released these people and released the situations and you have as well this is when the movement can happen because you've got ace of cups nine of cups and the star so you're on the right path things are shifting and moving for you to get what you want um, Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups. Nine of Cups is your Make-A-Wish card, everything coming true. Ace of Cups is romantic new beginnings. There are still strong feelings between the two of you. The feelings are growing, um, the soul pool is growing, and that therefore is making the feelings grow as well. So it's kind of a, it's a bit of a how long is the piece of string until this happens, a bit of a how long is the piece of string question, because you're all at very individual circumstances, situations. Um, but your people are going to stop being under the influence of other people and what's actually happening they will just start making these moves towards you um, and they already have on an energy level so if you feel that nothing is happening in the physical don't stress because it's happening on the 5d the fifth dimension but they're making these moves towards you it's just at the moment there's a lot of um acting like a child going on and a lot of influence of family and friends and things like that but they will realise that their heart is stronger than any kind of judgments that people throw on them. And you have to do the same. You have to step away from the judgments of other people and focus on what it is that you want. Now, if you feel that it's time that you move forward, then focus, you know, choose what makes you happy. That's what I always say. Best bit of advice I can ever give you is just choose what makes you happy. But your cards are actually really positive once they step away from the logical side of things. Um, and once they step away from the influence of other people. Now, some of you, the situation 
situations are more complicated than that because there'll be arranged marriages and all sorts. Um, but Spirit are saying that with the right amount of time and with the right amount of love and spiritual energy, situations can change and miracles can happen. So please don't overly stress about it. Just let the universe do its job. Tell the universe what you want, not what you don't want. And then you're there with your, your heart-centered new beginnings. You're on the right path. Don't, go, don't be so hard on yourself about it all I'm hearing as well so it's really good let me get you three of these it's a quick one today it's because i'm feeling poorly spirit of rushing through it okay can you get me three cards for my deck number two one two can i have three clarifying cards for deck number two please one two i'll have all of them shall we Okay, so you've got, again, at the moment you've got make, all these hands, these are everyone's kind of opinions and judgments that are happening around you and around them, but you've got trust, so trust in the process. You've also got the fact that spirit, it's just kind of echoes everything I've just said, spirit are looking after the situation. Don't take people's judgments on board, don't take people's energy on board. And once that kind of gets released, which is where they are stepping into, um, so at the moment it feels like nothing is happening. They are stepping into this releasing judgments and once that happens you have movement and communication for it moving forward for you. So it's just a, it's a how, long, how long is a piece of string but trust in the process. Um, release anywhere where you are taking judgments on board as your own energy. Make sure you're saying return to sender and sending the energy back when you're picking up off other people, when you start panicking, etc. And you'll be, you're on the right path. It's a divinely guided relationship. You are protected, you are safe and you are being looked after. And then movement is happening and communication is stepping forward. So that's pretty good as well. It's just that they're taking an energy, you're both taking on energy of other people. Um, whether that's on an energetic level or whether that's on a 3D level, you know. So, if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. I'm sorry it's dead quick, I am not feeling myself today. Um, I'm sending lots of love to you all. Come find me on Instagram, that's just mysticlovetarot and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!